Hello boys and girls, it's Steve, Hobo with Wood, coming at you again. My last few videos have been quite lengthy showing some how I do projects from start to finish. So this time I thought I'd throw a short one up there that's a time saver. And I mean a huge time saver. Uh, playing around with different settings on your layers and figure out how to optimize the movement of your laser so you're not waiting so long for a project to finish and what I'm going to talk about this particular video is offset fill fill versus offset fill let's take a look okay what I have on my work bed here is a cell phone stand that I've designed and it's a pretty simple cut the dimensions on this thing to uh, that is uh, little over seven inches tall and over three and a half wide and a matching same width and about three inches tall uh, and if we look at this preview as it's set right now I've got I've got four different layers here I have line one as a feel or my first layer in priority is the feel line and if, if you don't know this you go over here to your cuts and layers and if you right click on that line you get a flashing image on the screen showing you what's on that layer so there's my line layer three first priority i've got that at 100 speed 80 percent power then my next priority is a cut line and if we right click there you can see it that's my cut line that's the slot that the second piece will slide through next is an image that I've got set up uh, on an Atkinson engrave and then lastly my cut line my outer perimeter to cut the product out when I'm done so there's one tip you may or may not have known right click on your layers get on there my fingers trying to get out of the way of the camera right click and there you get to see everything on your layer then on a preview We'll look and see how long this cut's going to take as it is. Not that. I'm still right clicking. Let's go here. All right. That is showing an estimated time of one minute. I mean, one hour, one minute, and 28 seconds. One hour to cut out that small little cell phone stand. That is a long wait if you've got an order to produce 20 of these. Yeah, you that's two days worth of work and then some. Uh, can't make much money doing something like that. Now, if you're not aware, on your preview screen right here at the bottom, show your traversal moves. Now, if you don't have that highlighted, you're not going to see all those red lines on there. A traversal move is the laser moving back and forth and doing nothing. It's wasted energy, wasted time, wasted movement. So, this is set up on a field. One hour, one minute, 28 seconds. Okay. Actually, you know what? Let's go back here and look at how that's actually going to work for you. So, if we go over here and drag, I'm trying to keep my fingers out of the way of the camera. There we go. Just hold it. Come on. Alright. See there as, as it's being engraved. Maximum speed. Start. Play. Alright. So there you go. Left and right. It is done on a bi-directional engrave. So it's engraving left and right as it moves. But... That's a lot of red lines, a lot of wasted space and energy. So it's going to move all the way across doing all that. Now let's speed it up, get your engrave and your Im image, then your cut. All right. One hour, one minute. All right. So that line feel, this one here, is what's taking so long. That and the image. There's not much I can do about the image. 
but if I go to offset fill instead of fill, I haven't changed anything on the design. I just changed from fill to offset fill. Now let's look at our preview. We just cut it from one hour to 28 minutes for the exact same job. Pretty cool, huh? And what does that do? Well, instead of moving left and right all the way around the project to create that also that outline play see that let's slow that down so you can see what's actually happening come on stop preview blow this up so it's even bigger uh, Let's cut this back down to 10 speed. Been a long time since I've been on a 10 speed. <laughs> All right, now play that. Now you can see the crosshairs moving. I'm gonna slow her down even more. So you see there, the laser is going around the entire perimeter of that field and building it out, going over, grabbing the next fill, and just keeps coming around the perimeter, offsetting that fill, getting larger and larger. There is no wasted movement, no wasted energy, no wasted time. And that is offset fill, boys and girls. Again, Total time, 28 minutes, 17 seconds. Put it on the fill. One hour, one minute, 28 seconds. Thanks for watching this short video and I hope you enjoyed that shortcut and maybe you learned something. I try to figure out this software, a little something new every day. That right there is gonna save me a ton of time, a ton of time. If you can implement it in yours, it'll save you some time as well. If you've enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. It'll really help me out a lot. I'm trying to get to that thousand subscribers, get to that magic point where I can monetize my channel. Yes, I am looking to make some money. Who isn't? If I can't sell some projects, at least I can make some money off of the videos I'm putting on YouTube. Won't cost you a cent. Hit that subscribe button. Hope you've enjoyed it. See you next time.